Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon channel. Uh, this is our new perspective for the day and we are using the Tarot of the Divine. I have reviewed it. I review all, I've reviewed all of the decks that I have, um, that I have, period. <laughs> um, and then some. So if, if this deck is singing to you, maybe you want to check out the review, um, where I also do have a link in the description box uh, for where I got it. So there's that. Um, other than that, let's get started. Our three cards are the Two of Cups, the Nine of Coins, the Five of Coins. So let's start with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups speaks of a soul contract, a soulmate bond, uh, whether it be with a family member, a friend, or a, a lover. It's a soul contract, right? It's true love. It's a, a soulmate. And the Nine of Coins speaks, uh, speaks to... Um, it's pre-Empress uh, stage, right? It's uh, independence and uh, coming into your own. And it's the, the nine, so it's uh, right before uh, the ten of, of coins, which is legacy wealth, right? The ultimate contentment, right? So um, this... Nine of Coins speaks to the fact that you have gained your independence, you're self-sufficient, you have accomplished the majority of what you came here to accomplish, and you are, um, you know, fulfilling your dreams and uh, doing it on your own, mostly, right? And then the five of coins, you know, it does speak of being left out in the cold, despair. Fives are a challenge, right? <clears throat> They're competition. They are um, a challenge to get through something. Perhaps there was a, a time when there was struggle involved. Or perhaps there is a new connection coming in that you fear may threaten your sense of independence and self-reliance. Perhaps you fear that um, maybe the love won't be um, won't be expressed in the same way. There won't be equal give and take, right? Um, there's this self-sabotaging fear underlying this potential love, right? What is it that, that you're getting from this? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to know, is there anything specific that jumps out at you in any of these images that we're seeing? Um, soulmate bond. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what we got today in our oracle. It is the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle. And today we got Flower. Be honest with yourself. Hmm, that works well, right? Let me see if I can get all of that in there. Let me read that. It is number 17. Ooh, I opened right up to it. Interesting. Flower, be honest with yourself. We do ourselves a major disservice when we aren't truthful with ourselves. There's something you know to be true, yet you continue to ignore it. Lying to yourself may feel like the easiest thing to do, but things have changed. It's time for you to face reality, even if it makes you uncomfortable. No matter the outcome, it won't be nearly as bad as you think. Huh, interesting. 
Well, that explains that five of pentacles, doesn't it? <laughs> and then we have a note from the universe. Let us see what it says. Actually, everyone is reasonable. They just have their own reasons. And usually, it's worth trying to learn what they are to maximize chances of a full-blown, 60s-style, psychedelic love fest, which is always a good thing. Groovy you, the universe. I love these universe cards. Time for a love fest. Isn't that something? Interesting. What do you think of this poll for today? What uh, really sings to you? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, let's uh, gather our collective thoughts and see what it is that we see in today's poll and share with one another. I'm really interested to know what you all think. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.